<laughs> good morning, good morning. Hey, it's David Abraham. We're at the uh, end of May, uh, May 25th, 2023. I hope everybody's doing well. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's a beautiful morning. I mean, it's like 65 out here. It's just, it's just wonderful. But I'm almost on the circle of you, um, and I have found that as I, as I walk on here with my intentions um, to to learn more, to know more, to understand more about myself and the, and the truth and the reality of things, the way they really exist, you know, and the energies and vibrations and these kinds of things. And I dream about these things. Uh, I don't remember all the dreams, but I can remember the energy because when I wake up, I know that I've been dreaming because I can feel, I feel the energy of what the dream was, you know, the excitement or uh, the challenges or whatever. I feel like, wow, I was dreaming. I can remember a bit and a piece here or there. And it's about other realities I've I've asked about, and I go in there, and my body, my my higher self, um, gets uh, you know direction and guidance for my life in this uh, dimension, third dimension, the one that's that is the physical dimension. So as I'm here, I'm learning my my I'm gonna call it my sub subconscious mind is learning the truth of what my directional path needs to be. And I'm pretty much on it, and I have discovered that I'm pretty much on it. I'm uh, in a position where I have to uh, just be and and have the passion of light and love and to send it out in the midst of challenges or hardships, even though you might get uh, something taking advantage of you or something pushing your buttons or something. You send out love in response. That's training and changing the dark energy to light en energy. And that's important to understand is that as we do that, we help the ascension process because the ascension process is going on right this very minute. And it's important to understand your part in it. And your part in it is to be and to not doubt and to not fear because there is no hell. Um, I had the vision, uh, a couple videos I gave on, on that. And I understand that uh, is, is how the, is, is that we're programs in our consciousness. There's many consciousness, many realities, uh, many earths and all this is going on and you got to look at it it's a like a bioelectrical computer program this is what we have avatars we're in and our eternal soul is working through this avatar to learn lessons and things of that nature it's quite fascinating you know and i look down at this circle of you and let me just point this this way in fact let me walk this way with it because i found that when i walk this direction I just get a wind in my, in my interest increases on whatever I'm talking about. Or, I, I don't know, it's just... <laughs> but you see these bricks represent different potentials and realities. There's the edge of my consciousness representation. And here's my grounding stone right here. I grounded that. And that's connected down. There's a water well right down here underneath these bricks about a foot down one there it's a metal pipe and we're grounded that's 150 feet down so we're grounded there this whole area is grounded very very well and that would explain the the way why it feels good because i'm connected to the earth here more soundly i have a great grounding connection in these seats that i made here this also all this goes into like the big giant permission slip and i'll even just sit out here and when i sit here and i just start pondering on things and I'm at peace and I don't, my mind's not cluttered with things. I'm at just that peace, a quiet mind. And, and it's those quiet times. It's just the effort. It's the action. And this is going, and as I speak words like this of truth and energy and love, and I, you know, we're magnificent beings, each one of us. We're master creators. We created this earth along with God, uh, co-create, co-creators, co to have this experience of uh, self-discovery, because uh, Source loves to discover, <laughs> to, to discover itself again and again through every perspective possible, and that's why there's so many people, so many perspectives, and God's in each one of them, and that's a beautiful thing to know. And knowing that there is no hell, and even though Jesus, His teachings are profound, and need we need to live by them, Buddha as well. Uh, it's gathering within King God, Jesus taught the kingdom of God is within, you know, and, and, and people couldn't quite grasp that. A few may have, but most people didn't. They see the institutions as the, you know, as the kingdom of God, and it's not the institutions. 
the institutions are there for a purpose to help people um, get on a path and fellowship to kind of get your your sociology uh, process working differently with other like-minded that's what church environment what well, if you go there to hear preaching there's nothing wrong with that but you have to take what the preacher would say and what it may not apply to you direct <laughs> directly but take the things that they would say and apply it as Christ would teach it take man out of the concept and teach it in a per, in a perfect attitude so as you as I'm in the circle of you and, and these are the concepts I work on is the teachings of Jesus Christ is he taught is the higher self he taught that uh, I go to my God and your God and my Lord and your Lord you know and so we're he's saying look here's here's the relationship we're equal that kind of thing uh, yeah they he was different for his day he broke he tried to break down the hierarchy of the institution and they didn't like that so they crucified him for it you know and so that nation was cursed ever since then they brought a bad karma on themselves by cursing uh, Jesus uh, a being who no, he's not the sa savior. Now, got to understand the story is corrupted. Yeah, his sufferings were there. They meant they meant to focus on that, and you got to give. He suffered for you. Okay, you have no power. You got to do everything in his name, and in the old energy that that worked, and but the energy is changing, and so we need to change with the with the energy. He's not coming in a big flash and a big boom. Here it is, you know. We're doing a gradual shift. Also, although, and when the two-thirds consensus says that the um, that the consciousness of the two-thirds believe in the higher loving, no war, full of peace, when that comes to pass, the, there will be a sudden change in our consciousness. We'll notice things are peaceful like now. You know, we I've dipped in and out of fifth-dimensional thinking every day. It's full of peace. And then when I... You know, I don't ever watch the news. Never. I don't. I don't care what's going on in the news. It's projected. It's theater. It's all. It's all phony. It's all phony. But anyway, just a little hello today. Hope y'all doing well. Haven't been on here in a while. There's my old Southern accent, country boy. <laughs> just playing around a little bit. That's the neat thing about about being ourselves is that God allows us to be ourselves, and it doesn't matter if you're highly educated or if you're just you know lie. Like me, you know, I'm just an old country boy, but high IQ, you know, I never failed in a grade except for the one class I, I didn't fail the grade, I failed the class. I didn't go to it, so I, the lady failed me. She goes, if you did just come took two tests, uh, Guido, <laughs> Spanish class, uh, I'd have give you a D. <laughs> she couldn't give me a D. I didn't turn in any. I didn't like I didn't like Spanish back then, you know. It was, teenager i didn't care about that thing but anyway i hope y'all are doing well you're magnificent don't let fear get in you in any degree uh, the only way fear should be used is don't jump off the roof thinking you can fly that's kind of stupid all right but love people that's that's the power all right have a great day